Hello, hello! Welcome to English with Max. In today's video, I'm going to teach you the names of common kitchen utensils. I'm also going to explain some of their perhaps not so common uses. Let's start with my favorite utensil the bottle opener. You use this to open bottles. That is, of course, if you don't want to use your teeth or your eye socket. Mm, very classy. And now my second favorite utensil, the can opener. Some can openers look like this, but I prefer these ones. A can opener is used to open these things, cans. Uh, that is, of course, if they don't have this handy ring on top. I'm sure it's happened to all of us. You go to the supermarket, you see a tin, you think, oh, that looks good. Well, it's probably just because you're cheap and too lazy to cook. But anyway, you take it home, uh, you want to open it, and you see this. Another necessity of life is this. A corkscrew. Corkscrews are rather useful if you live in one of the many European countries that still insists on using these corks, hence corkscrew. Because after all, I mean, these bottles are just so much more difficult to open and the wine doesn't taste nearly as good because there's no cork in it. Hello! Yes, I live next door. Um, I was just wondering if you had a corkscrew? Get it? Screw? This is why I'm still single. This is a rolling pin. I don't know how many people actually still have these. I think the last time I used mine was to either crush ice or to kill a cockroach. This, boys and girls, is a ladle. Ladles are used to serve soup or stews. If you haven't heard the word stew, it's just a thicker soup. You can also use ladles as a spoon if you're sink looks like this and your drawer looks like this oh what would my mother say but it is a little more refined to use cutlery uh, this is a knife this is a spoon and this is a fork Remember that cutlery is uncountable, so you cannot say a cutlery. Either cutlery or the cutlery, depending on whether or not you want to be specific. As I just said, this utensil is called a knife, but a knife can also look like this. And if you are not a caveman, you will preferably use one of these when using your knife. This is called a chopping board or a cutting board. Spoons can also look like this. These are wooden spoons. Also another option if your sink looks like this. This is a spatula. I'm sure most of you have one of these. Most of us occasionally eat eggs or pancakes. Um, I normally just use it to Kill flies. I'm Australian. This is a peeler. You use this to remove the skin of fruit and vegetables. I can't actually think of any other use for this. If you can though, please write it in the comments. This one here is called a funnel. This can be very, very useful. This one is called a sieve. Normally you use this for flour when you want to make a cake or something. Please note the spelling of this word. No, it doesn't make sense. 
but who said that English was there to make our lives easy? And how could I forget this? This is a fry pan, also known as a frying pan. Ow. Fry pans come in all different shapes and sizes, and even if you don't have a sieve or a funnel, if you are no longer living with your parents, I truly hope that you have one of these. And finally, this item has the simplest name of all. This is a pot. You might have heard this word before. Pot is a slang word for marijuana. So if you haven't spent a lot of time in the kitchen, but you've spent a lot of time engaged in other activities, you most likely will have heard the word pot. But be careful, if you are using pot to refer to marijuana, it is uncountable, and if you are using it to refer to this thing, it is countable. So you can say, I have one pot, he has two pots, etc, etc. If you liked the video guys, please don't forget to click on the thumbs up and also to subscribe to my channel. See you next time.